And the rat had his cheese tonight, Miles. The rat had his cheese here this night. <laughs> Terrible, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah uh, well, I suppose you could say that, but at the end of the day, after the fight, uh, it's all done and dusted. We're athletes at the end of the day, and I have nothing but respect for Peter. He's a tough opponent, and I for sure didn't take him lightly going into this fight. I know the crowd was against me, but at the end of the day, I represent Ireland, and I put my heart in the line for Ireland and fighting for this country. And, uh, you know, we're countrymen at the end of the day, and uh, let bygones be bygones, leave it at that. He's a very good fighter, and I have the utmost respect for him, and it was a great fight. Miles, your fight here was driving a lot of the interest here. When this came out, everybody was talking about it, especially with the old school people on the scene. Everybody seemed to have an opinion. How good does it feel to get a victory in this, and do you think you've impressed Bellator, which are a drawing power in this regard? Um, I for sure think I've impressed Bellator with my... Uh, with my, uh, with my power to bring in like pay-per-view boys down the line you know what I mean I feel like that this drew, drew a lot of attention it was a fight a long time in the making as well like you know it had a massive build-up to it people were excited for the fight at times it was a little bit grindy but I had to do what I had to do against Peter in this fight uh, I still feel like it was exciting and I feel like that I put on a good performance and I hope the fans enjoyed it and I hope all you guys did too the, you know the whole backstory to this and, and the beef between you was because you were training with Habib Nurmagomedov in AKA. Yeah. You came out tonight and you had a very wrestle-heavy game, push forward, push him against the fence. Do you think that time over there in AKA helped you and got you to win there tonight? Uh, well, uh, I give credit to my team up in, uh, up in HQ in Dublin and my team in Kilkenny as well as I did in AKA. But I do feel like for sure it pushed me to that next level being over in AKA and training with the guys over there. and. You know, you just develop a mindset when you're over training with NCAA killers all the time. Like, you know, my main sparring partner was uh, Kyle Crutchmere. He's an NCAA champ, and I have Paul Redmond wrestling with me every week. So you, you try and find guys better than that, trying to get you used to being a grinder and, and getting used to becoming one yourself, you know. You won't find any. Peter Queeley came back here afterwards, and he said as far as he's concerned, the beef is squashed. Yep. You both have words afterwards. Uh, how do you feel about the relationship now? Oh, it's completely squashed. It was never really there for me, if I was being completely honest with you. It really wasn't like, you know, I mean, I just gave my honest opinion as a human being. I'm not the type of guy to kind of make up a lot of smack talk and stuff like that. I just tell the truth as it is. That's who I am as a person. And if you don't like it, then, you know, that's not my problem. If, and if it feeds into the fight, as I said before in interviews, that's fantastic. You know what I mean? Of course. And uh, I feel like it gave a great, a great kind of like uh, built it up for the for the for the fans and all that and for the media and I loved it, I thought it was a fantastic experience and in my eyes that it's completely squashed, I have nothing but respect for the man. Andy Ryan embraced you after the final bell, um, it looked like it meant a lot to him as well, how, how much has he meant to you in the in the lead up to this fight? Andy means so much to me, he's a, he's a mentor, he's a friend and he's he cares so much as a coach, he really really does. Like He's been in MMA since the very very start, like the, the the very beginning of MMA in this country and he's been there and he's put his whole life into this you know so to see any of his athletes be it amateur up to professional he you have no idea how much it means to him when his when his athletes perform so you know and I feel that and I sense that like you know after the fight and you know we just embraced and we we're just really happy about the performance we were happy about the the way it, it went tonight you know so. when the decision was being read did you did you think it might go the other way or did you think you had it um I think uh when, when it went, when they said I think they said 30 27 Peter I think as well didn't they no it was 29 28 sorry yeah that's right sorry and uh uh, then I kind of thought, oh, yeah, they're probably going to take it from me now, I'd say. Like, you know, I did think that, like, for a second, but I knew, look, at the end of the day, if they took it from me, I knew, I, I knew that I won that fight, you know what I mean? So, you know, the shit decisions happen the whole time in MMA. You can't get bitter about that either. You just have to take it on the chin and move on, you know? It's satisfying. You were getting, obviously, a lot of abuse online as well from the fans, Miles, and there was a bit of booze when you came in there tonight. Is, is it nice to shut up a few people? It is, but it's also to prove that, like, you know... I don't know. It, it is. It is actually. Yeah, yeah. I'll just say it straight out. It is. It is. It is. Like you know, because I, I, I put so much on the line. I've been fighting in for Ireland, and you, know, you all, all you guys know me. You know what I mean. I've been around for a long time now, representing Ireland, and I always wave that flag. You know what I mean. So, and I know there's a lot of fans out there that don't really understand like the deep roots of where I was coming from and the situation. They don't know really. They're just 
they like picking a side like you know Liverpool and Manchester United and soccer or whatever you know what I mean you, they just pick a side and they're, you can't take it personally like you know it was nice to show a few people up but at the end of the day they make the show what it is so I'm happy they came and I'm happy they booed me so Is this the biggest win of your career Miles when you think about it all the lead up to it the abuse you had to take online and now the victory coming the, the, and in your Bellator debut of course do you feel like this is the, the biggest win of your career that, at this point? Yeah, it's definitely the biggest one in my. It's definitely the biggest one in my career for sure. Uh, Peter Creeley's a top-ranked opponent. Like the last guy he he bet was, uh, I think he was like 23 and four or something like that. That Russian fella, you know, and he was going to fight for that fight nights global. He's like he's he's a very very good athlete, like you know. And to be on this stage with the build-up, yeah, it's it it really was. And for me, I think as a personal hurdle. Like, you know, to come from that Norman Park fight where I felt like that I, I did great in the striking and my jiu-jitsu was pretty good. Like, and to feel like that I just added to that wrestling, I've added that to my kind of like, you know, little building block of my career now, you know. So it's it was satisfying in a personal level as well. Miles, you mentioned that uh, before the fight you were still in contact with a lot of the guys at AK, you're going to go back over. Has you Have you got any contact from any of the, the guys over there after hearing this result and seeing it on the Paramount Network, Network in the US? Oh yeah, well I haven't I haven't checked my I turn off my phone before on my fights, so uh um, to congratulate Miles. Oh fantastic, did he? Yeah. I love Javier man. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah, for sure, like I'm definitely gonna be going uh, I'm definitely gonna be going back over to uh, AK and um and it's it uh, they, they all the guys uh, before my fight they all said best of luck best of skill go out there and smash it tonight you know a general kind of thing they're they're, I, they're like my family as well out there now I was out there for a long time three months being part of someone's te uh, their team over there and and uh, being over there it was really an amazing experience so they did give me a lot of support and that makes me just really look forward to going back well, over there would you like to go over there and, and you know fight in the states and do a full camp with aka because javier has obviously said and he said to me that you're welcome there now anytime in, in aka you're as far as he's concerned you're a team member of them as well uh that's 100 percent. that's going to happen for me like that's just set in stone me and andy ryan have been in talks about it and uh rezzer's going to come over james sheen's going to come over uh, I was actually talking to Ryan, Ryan Scope over in, uh, as well. He's going to come with us. So we're actually going to get a bit of a team coming over. And anyone that wants to come along, that's cool. But me and me and a few of the Rhino boys are definitely going over. And, and my next step is I want to fight in San Jose. I want to fight there because uh, AK to me is my second home. That's the place I want to go to do a bit of training maybe once a year with my team. And uh, if I can get a fight at the end of that, smashing. Talk about picking, you know, picking sides and stuff. People, it's not unusual for someone from Kilkenny to come up here to, to Dublin and, and get a big win. How, how happy are you? Unless they're playing Limerick, of course. How happy are you for you know the people at home to see you coming up here, and how happy will they all be to see you getting the win here? Uh, I'm 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 extremely proud to be from Kilkenny and to represent uh, my, my county down in Kilkenny. So. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be. I know a lot of people were watching it in the pubs down there, and they had it on live. So it's a, it was a, it's a, it really does warm my heart to hear that. Like when when because you don't hear it on a day to day basis, people supporting you really, or uh, you know, it's the general kind of public on the night. You kind of hear, geez, they're putting it on here or there. So, like I did hear and I saw that a lot of people were were supporting me for the fight, and I'm forever grateful for it. It spurs me on and it gives me the the fire up me hole to put on a performance like that tonight. So thank you very much to everyone, including the people from Kilkenny. Can you show us the uh, rat tattoo? Obviously, a lot of people are calling you a rat lead. This, give us a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Sorry. It's a master sprinter tattoo, not a rat one. <laughs> <laughs> big fan of the turtles, you are. What's that? <laughs> big fan of the turtles. Yeah, I actually am a big fan of the turtles. I wouldn't mind a couple of turtles actually next time. <laughs> Well, thanks very much, it was brilliant. Thank you very much, guys.